it's April and welcome to my toy world. Today we have four different sets of animals to open up. Sea, zoo, dino, and insect. And we are going to make four separate mini worlds for each one of our animal sets. Let's start with this first one here. We'll make a habitat for our sea creatures. Let's start with some blue kinetic sand. We'll get our kinetic sand all spread out in our tray. Next, we'll add this for some slimy water. Then we'll add some sparkly gems for our water. There we go. And some pretty blue plants for the sea. And then lastly, we'll add some slime, some shark attack slimy gloop slime. So here's what our slime looks like. It's got some beads in it and some glitter. This will be perfect. This is very stretchy slime here. Let's take a look at that real quick. Wow, I love the beads in it. They have a really interesting texture. This is very pretty watercolored slime here. I love it. Okay, let's stretch this out so it fits in our watery scene here. Just like so. And now our sea habitat is all ready for our sea animals. Next, let's set up a scene for our zoo animals. We'll start with kinetic sand and we'll spread this around. We'll add in some grass. We'll add in some wildlife fencing. Let's add in this log here, a few pebbles, and some plants. Here's bamboo. My zoo has lots of bamboo. So we have bamboo as well as some other nice plants. There, now our zoo habitat is all ready for our zoo animals. Next. Let's make a habitat for our dinosaurs. We'll start with our black rocks filled with specks of lava. And let's add in this piece here. It's some lava rocks with some dinosaur eggs. I think that looks like a lot of fun. We'll add in a log here, this bright orange plant, some grass over here and a fern. Now our dinosaur mini world is all ready for our dinosaur figures. And lastly, let's create a small world for our insects. We're going to add in some moss for our insects to climb around on. We'll spread it out. We'll add some rocks. And here in the back corner, let's add some brown slime for dirt. We'll mix it up a little bit first. So it's a nice dirt color. And then we'll kind of make it into the shape of a little section of dirt. There, that way our, some of our insects can be in the dirt. We'll also add a log here for them. And insects love flowers and plants. So we'll add some of that too. Some grass here, some flowers. Here's some yellow flowers. And some tall grass with more flowers. Put that right here. And now our insect small world is ready for our insects. Now let's go ahead and put our animals in each of their small worlds. Let's go ahead and start with our sea creatures here. Look at all the different sea creatures in this container. And look here, it even has a sea creature on the top of the lid. Okay, let's see what animals we have in here. So our first creature for the sea is a sea turtle. Let's have the sea turtle swim over by the sea. Next, we have a walrus. 
Look at the tusks on this walrus here. We'll also have this one on the edge here. Be kind of coming in and out on the rocks here. Next we have a squid. That squid there. It's long tentacles. That right into the water. The slimy water. Here we have a beautiful blue starfish. Look how shiny this starfish is. So pretty. This will look beautiful in our diorama. Right there. Next we have a puffer fish. The prickly puffer fish here. That one right there. And we have an otter. Sea otter. That on the edge. We have a ray. This is an interesting ray. Put that right here. We have an adorable seal here. This seal, look at his little fins. They're so cute. Put that right there. And we have a penguin. It's little flappy wings here. So a cute little penguin. Put him back here by the plant. We have a beautiful orange seahorse. Put that one in the water here. The seahorse. And then swimming along, we have a hammerhead shark. Hammerhead sharks are so interesting. The shape of the front of their head is very interesting with their eyes on the side of their hammer-shaped head. A hammerhead shark. We'll put that right here. This set came with a tropical tree for our ocean scene. We'll add this to our diorama. We'll put it back there. And our last sea creature is a bright green shiny crab. A little crab for our sea. Put it over here on the edge. Can be walking along. So those are all of our sea creatures in their mini sea world. Next, let's check out all of the zoo animals. This is full of different animals from the zoo. And look, there's a lion on the top. We'll put them in our zoo mini world. Our first animal for our zoo is an elephant. It's an elephant with its long trunk and tusks that right here in our zoo. Next, we have a lion. This is a lion, a male lion with a mane. So a lion, put that on the rocks right here. We have another big cat. This is a tiger. This tiger with its stripes. So a tiger, we'll put that on the same side as the lion. We also have a cheetah, a very fast cheetah. So all of the big wild cats are together. This set also came with some tropical plants for our zoo. We'll put them right back there. And next we have a lizard. Look at this lizard with his big frills around his head here. So a very interesting lizard. We'll put that right here by the log and the new tree. Here we have a deer with big antlers here. So a deer and a polar bear. The polar bears at our zoo love to jump in the water and swim around and play. This is a polar bear. So a polar bear. This is a camel. This camel has two humps. Some camels only have one hump. So we have a camel here. Next we have a moose. The big antlers on this moose here. Put that down here by the deer. We have a rhinoceros. It's big pointy horn here. A rhinoceros, or rhino for short. And then we have an animal that hops along here. This is a kangaroo. 
and its little joey is in its pouch. Kangaroos carry their babies in their pouch. So a kangaroo for our zoo. And lastly, we have a tall giraffe. Giraffes have really long necks here to reach leaves from the top of trees. So a giraffe. Put that giraffe back there by the tree. Let's also put some grass in here for the animals to eat. There we go. So that is our small zoo diorama. Next, let's put some dinosaurs in our dinosaur diorama. At the top of this one here, a big dinosaur head here. Dinos. Our first dinosaur is this Brachiosaurus here, a blue Brachiosaurus. That one right here. And we have a Parasaurolophus. He's green down his back. That one right there. And a bright orange T-Rex. Put that by the orange plant here. I think that matches really nicely. We have a couple of dinosaurs that I'm not too sure what they are. I like them though. There's another one. Another dinosaur. A yellow with a little green. That one back here. This dinosaur kind of looks like a Styracosaurus or a Triceratops, but it's a little different than a Triceratops. So maybe a Styracosaurus? That there. Here's a Triceratops. Look at this shiny, bright blue color. I think that's so neat. I love the bright colored ones. Here's a Pachycephalosaurus with its distinctly shaped head there. We'll put that one right here. And we have a Stegosaurus with all of its spines. This one's missing his uh, Thagomizer, so perhaps this is a younger one. Put that right here. And we have this one here. Maybe it's an Allosaurus. We'll put this one right here. Look at all these colorful dinosaurs. This one also came with a tree for our little diorama. Put that right back there. And we have this here. I think it's supposed to be a Spinosaurus. Right there. And lastly, we have this big dinosaur here. Maybe a Giganotosaurus. I'll put that one right here, kind of standing near the lava. So those are all of our very colorful dinosaurs in their dinosaur habitat. And we have a one, the last small diorama here for our insects. Here's our insect tube. You can see a ladybug on the top. All of our insects to put down in our insect habitat. So just like the top of our insect tube, we have a ladybug. Let's go ahead and add this ladybug to our little insect habitat. There were some other creatures in this tube that are not insects, but we'll add them to our habitat. This is a bat. Sometimes bats fly through the air eating insects. We also have a frog. Frogs love to catch flies. So we'll put these in our habitat. Maybe we'll put this frog down here by the mud. It also came with a tree. We can add this to our diorama. Here is another bug. This is a praying mantis. Praying mantises are very helpful in the garden and they're very interesting animals. They look like they're holding their hands together to pray. So a praying mantis. That right here. Kind of blend in with the moss. Here's another creature that is not an insect, but was in the tube, a little tiny rat. Put that back here. He could be watching some of the different insects. Here we have a bee. Bees help pollinate the garden. We'll put this bee by this flower here. And next we have a grasshopper. Grasshoppers hop through the garden. They hop really far. 
this one right down here. He blends into the moss too. A lot of insects blend into the grass in the garden. But this one will be very bright. This is a centipede. Centipede right here. Look at all the legs. Next, we have a brightly colored scorpion. Scorpions have stingers on their tail, so you have to be careful for scorpions. This is a very brightly colored one. Our next insect is an adorable little caterpillar. This cute little caterpillar. Put him right here. And then we have this big bug here. I think this might be a cicada. So here's that bug with its very big wings. Put this one right here. And next we have an ant. This is a very big ant. Some ants are big and some ants are teeny tiny. Put this ant right here on our rocks. Here we have a spider. Look at the interesting markings on this spider. There are so many kinds of spiders. And next we have a cockroach. Put them, we'll put the cockroach down here by our mud. Right there. And next we have two flying insects. A beautiful flying dragonfly. We'll have the dragonfly land in our grass. And lastly, we have a fly. This fly has metallic green colors on it. Sometimes flies are just black and sometimes they have shiny iridescent colors like this bright green color. So a fly, we'll have it land right there. So those are all of the insects as well as a few other creatures in our little garden habitat. So those are all four of our small worlds today. Our sea creatures, our zoo creatures, our dinosaurs, and our insects. Let's go ahead now and take a close up look at each one. So that was our sea, zoo, dinosaur, and insect small world dioramas. I hope you enjoyed taking a look at all four of these little worlds with all of these wonderful animal figures. I hope everyone is having a great day. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Goodbye.